Welcome to Community Chat for September 30th. A um, couple updates right off the bat on NativeScript Core. So in the past week, uh, again, falling in line with the 2020 goals to really keep releases uh, with critical bug fixes and or just improvements that need to go out, uh, published and, and get them going out. Um, there were some nice uh, fixes that were in these uh, past releases. So 705 was released after last week's call. Uh, and then we released a couple patches leading up to 708, which is out now. Um, I would recommend anyone out there who is uh, kind of monitoring releases or seeing if uh, there are improvements that come along, this releases tab on the core repo is nice to take a peek at that's accessible here on the right hand side. If you choose releases, you can see that 705 uh, was out seven days ago. This is uh, the patch that actually included a pretty critical bug fix for a production flag. So some, some folks had reported that the environment production flag was affecting their uh, release build. That actually went into that patch there. So um, always good to take a peek at these. This is actually hand in hand with uh, a fix that went in here. So between 705 and 706, uh, some really nice uh, fix there that was needed. Um, also some improvements along the delegate for native text view protected, just some cleanup there. Um, there were some things with date picker and iOS 14 uh, that were fixed in 707. And then uh, a critical bug fix actually in 708 for utils open file if anyone had used that uh, or was currently using that and had an issue in iOS 14 that definitely uh, needed a fix there that went in 708. So um, definitely uh, best to use a tilde, you know, for all of us as well, we always use a tilde against 70. Uh, for core and that way if you ever do do a, a rebuild or a clean on your project you of course will pick up those patch uh, releases just automatically so um, we always recommend a, a tilde you know we do try to honor simver in that sense that uh, if there's a breaking change it hits would be a major uh, uh, version there so or, or at least a minor uh, bump version on some of those so generally if it's a patch update it shouldn't be anything that is going to be breaking um, Xcode 12, uh, to make a note on this again, we are uh, going to publish a final CLI version Friday. Uh, there's also going to be two patches to the iOS runtime to fix the final uh, architecture issue there. So TNS iOS and NativeScript iOS, the V8 engine, will have a patch version published um, by Friday. Um, as we have been talking about, the RC versions that have been circulating, I think there are two that have been published here in the past uh, week or so. So if you are having any issues currently still with Xcode 12, always use that uh, RC or install that and um, things should be better there. We're using that ourselves uh, with good success. And the final issue that we're confirming is related to a simulator uh, build issue that's been reported on this uh, Xcode 12 status issue. So, um, Really appreciate everyone's reports on this issue. It's really helped us collect uh, the knowns as well as the different conditions on uh, project setups. And uh, we have narrowed down what the final uh, adjustment will be there. Um, some people have reported on this issue. Of course, things kind of outside the bounds of Xcode 12. You know, generally, if you're using NativeScript 7, um, always check the plugin compatibility list and always make sure you're using a NativeScript 7 compatible plugin. Um, those things are not related to Xcode 12 uh, in any way. Um, so Xcode 12 is really just isolated to an architecture um, build issue um, that they're using for kind of the future of iOS and moving to ARM uh, 64. 